Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangster's Hot Rods. Before we get to the newest addition to our inventory here at the Hummer City, Pennsylvania location, we're going to go over some things that you may not be aware of or some of our past customers may already know. But we do have on our website at www.hangsters.com, all of our vehicles, well mostly all of them on there, have shipping and powertrain warranty included in the pricing. Shipping is anywhere in the 48 states. Powertrain warranty is the engine transmission differential three months or 3,000 miles the internally lubricated parts only. And of course, if it's a four-wheel drive vehicle you want to get from us, that would include the transfer case, the front differential, and so on. Also, if um, you are interested in financing a vehicle on our website, you just click on the financing tab next to that vehicle that you are interested in. Once you click on a tab, the application will pop up, hit enter or submit down at the bottom left after you had filled it out. We receive it, we send it out, and we go from there. And if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can go on there. Um, you can see videos of our current inventory, including this one. You can see videos of our past inventory to see what we bring in here at Hangsters. If you see a vehicle on our website at www.hangsters.com and you really like that vehicle, but maybe it doesn't have some of the features or modifications you would like it to have, give us a call, get you a quote, what it would cost to change that feature or make that modification on that vehicle. Maybe you want fuel injection, maybe you want air conditioning, maybe you want disc brakes the whole way around, um, maybe you want a different exhaust system, different wheels and tires, uh, striping, uh, different hood, gauges, so on and so on. Just give us a call, I'll get you a quote of what it would be, and we can go from there to make that per vehicle perfect for you. Well, we're going to move right into our newest addition. What we have for you today is this beautiful 1967 Ford Mustang. First thing you notice about it is the colors. Um, it's in a beautiful red. Of course, we do have stripes on the hood and roof and the trunk area. We'll see those as we come around. Those are in silver. Um, the paint on the car is beautiful, really has a nice shine on it, really stands out in the sun. Second thing you're going to notice is the wheels and tires. We do have the aluminum American Racing Torque Thrust 2s with the BF Goodrich Radio TA raised white letter tires. And of course, that is at all four corners. Move along, I'm going to address the emblems here. We do have the Mustang 351 emblems on the fenders here. That is exactly what's in it, um, but we'll address that soon enough. Coming to our first gap driver's side between the front fender and the door. Very even going down. You see your body line here, and here lines up very nicely. And we also have the chrome rocker moldings down at the bottom. Of course, that's on both sides. Our driver's side of our windshield, no chips and cracks. Our driver's side glass, your wing window, side glass and quarter window, all nice, no chips and cracks on those either. Now our second gap, driver's side, between the door and the quarter panel. Again, fairly even the whole way down, and your body lines here and here line up very nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, door, we'll go over the interior from this point of view. We have a two-tone interior in here, we have the silver and black. You can see the seats are in great shape. You got the vinyl buckets, you got seat belts front and rear. Um, you do have the automatic on the floor shifter there. You see the dash. Um, the door panels are in great shape. The carpeting is really nice. Um, you see very nice interior on the car. And you have the two tone on the door panels as well. Moving along, coming around towards the rear of the car. Our back window, no chips and cracks. You can see the striping continues down the trunk area here in your tail panel, up from the uh, roof there. The hood gapping the whole way around is very even. Coming around to the back of the car, the rear bumper chrome is in great shape. Couple little minute scratches here and there, but overall, very nice chrome on the bumper. And as you, I said, you can see the stripes continue down the tail panel and down to the bottom of the valence. You can see we got the dual exhaust sticking out through the cutouts and the valence. Tail panel, your tail light assemblies, these are very nice, probably new. Uh, these are very nice condition. The lenses and the bezels are in fantastic shape. What I'm going to do now is open up the trunk. We'll go over the floor and so on in here. Down here in the trunk, of course, we've got the silver uh, paint, which continues the theme also under the hood, as we'll see in a few moments. Um, Underneath the trunk here is in the silver, down to here in the trunk floor area, also in the silver. Um, of course, the main section of your floor here in the center is your fuel tank on this model year. That's how they were made. Um, we've got our mounts here. Um, you can see here the floor itself, all in good shape here. You've got where your drain holes are and all the floor back there in good shape as well. 
Move it along. Coming around the passenger side, um, I always address the paint again at this point in the video, but the paint on the car, again on this side, just shines great. Very nice paint on the car. Coming up to our first gap passenger side, and that's between the quarter panel and the passenger side door. Very even going down. You see your body lines here and here line up nicely, and here's our chrome rocker molding on this side as well. Our passenger side glass, whole way down, no chips and cracks. What I'm going to do now is open up the passenger side door. See the interior from this point of view. Again, you get a look at the, uh, the carpeting. You got some aftermarket gauges under the AC unit. Yes, this car does have air conditioning. Passenger side of the dash is in great shape. The carpeting and the seats from this point of view. Moving along. Uh, passenger side second gap. Door to front fender. Again, fairly even going down. Your body lines there and there line up nicely. Got our emblems on this side as well. Passenger side of the wind, uh, windshield, no cracks there. Now you can see our stripe continues on the cow area and down centers of the hood. Speaking of the hood, we have an aftermarket fiberglass hood on here with the dual scoots, really gives it that sporty look. Very nice. Now, the front of the car, our front chrome on the bumper is just as nice in the back. The bumpers on the car are beautiful. Um, the grill, I don't see any broken or missing pieces on this. The grill looks like to be in great shape. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood. We'll go over everything here in the engine bay. What we have here, of course, this is a fiberglass hood. We do have a prop that goes with this, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to hold it up myself here. What we do have here is a 351 Windsor Ford small block V8. We got the Holley four barrel double pumper carburetor. We got the Moroso um, wires here, 8.5 millimeter wires. Um, we got power steering, we got power brakes, we got air conditioning, a nice chrome unit here. We also have an aluminum radiator, which is of course far better for cooling. We got an inline aluminum uh, fuel filter here. We got the chrome polished alternator. We got the Ford Mustang valve cover dress up kits with the chrome engine air cleaner. A lot of beautiful little dress up uh, items under the hood here, which make it far better performance wise as well with the polished aluminum intake also. And of course, this is a modern AC unit, so you're going to have the modern refrigerant in there. All in all, great running car. Of course, a lot of engine for a light car like this. And what we're going to do now, we're going to put this up on a lift and show you how nice the undercarriage is. Hey guys, we got our Mustang up in the air. We're going to do a review on the undercarriage as we always do. And I always start at the front here. Your suspension, control arms, and so on look to be of a stock style. We do have KYB front shocks and KYB rear shocks, and we're going to see those as we get back there. Um, our, we, well, let me address here. We do have a front sway bar here. Our belly bar, nice and intact. That looks good. Um, our oil pan on our 351 Windsor. Our rear main seal. Our transmission pan on our C6 automatic transmission. And our output seal, nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those. Those all look really good. Um, our front section's a frame. Look good. And look good. Um, we do have dual exhaust on the vehicle. We got the stainless headers, shorty headers, coming with the dual piping going into dual mufflers, and we're going to see those as we get back there farther. Um, coming on back a little bit, our flooring here and over here looks good, nice and solid. Um, coming on back, our sides looks great. You got all your all your embossments, your grommets, your drains, all that looks good there. And the same as this side over here. Um, looks like probably had a new floor put in it. We can see our creases here. Oh, that's why it looks fantastic. The floor looks really good. All your grommets are present, your drains and so on. So the floor is really nice under here. We got our e-brake cables here, going back to both wheels. Our dual exhaust coming on back here into the dual mufflers here. One thing I do want to point out before we get back any further is we do have frame connectors on this car, which is a nice touch. Keeps the frame uh, more stability, more rigid for your power you're putting down. This is a nice thing to have. 
We do have also in the back, we got leaf spring suspension, stock style shocks. Our pin, uh, input seal and gear set seal at our rear differential, those are both nice and dry as well. I don't see any leaks on those either. Um, now our front spring mounts for our leaf springs looks good and looks good. Um, coming towards the rear of the car, up above the differential floor also looks great. Well, our seams are present. I can see all of that. All of this coated in a thin coat of black. It all looks really good. Um, our rear sections of frame look good. And look good. Our exhaust tailpipes come out over, curl around the fuel tank, come back into these chrome tips into the cutouts on the valence. Um, our fuel tank is right here. Of course, there's no straps on this year because that is part of your floor. The tank looks great. Uh, probably a newer tank. This is really nice shape. And we do have a drain on it as well. Like I always say on these videos, the drain is nice to have. In case you ever have to drain the fuel out, you don't have to drop your tank. You can just use a nice handy drain there. Um, our rear spring hangers looks good and look good. Um, we got the drum brakes on the back. All in all, looks really nice under here. What we're going to do is we're going to drop it down, fire it up to hear the engine run.